So there's really no good video online for a Nissan back pressure transducer. This is off of a 1993 Nissan 240SX. This is the back pressure transducer for the EGR. What happens is vacuum from the manifold is routed to the uh, EGR solenoid, vacuum solenoid which is not here, it's on the back of the engine, uh, beside where this guy is. And uh, that's electrically controlled. It, it'll uh, stop vacuum from coming to this port uh, until the engine is warm. So until that electrical solenoid opens, no vacuum is coming to this at, at all. Once the engine warms up, that solenoid will uh, open electrically, electromagnetically, uh, via the ECU. Then vacuum will be coming to this port. Okay. This is usually, so if you're looking under the hood, this is usually positioned like this at the back of the engine and the vacuum comes in here. So this is the vacuum source on the side from the vacuum solenoid, electrical vacuum solenoid. Vacuum is applied to this. And normally, it's just vented to the atmosphere. So essentially, you have a vacuum, a small vacuum leak, just naturally. Uh, and it sucks air into this area here. Usually, there's a filter in that space there, but it's gone on mine because it's so old and deteriorated. Um, now, a tiny, tiny little bit of vacuum could come out this line as well. Uh, but not enough to open the EGR. So what happens is the vacuum comes in here. The EGR valve is over here. Okay, I don't have the EGR right here, but you know what an EGR valve is if you're watching this video. Okay, so vacuum comes in here. A little tiny bit of vacuum might come through this side and be applied to the EGR valve, but not enough to open it. So anyway, regardless, most of it's vented to the atmosphere. Um, now, this on the bottom... Aha, there's a little tiny metal line that comes out beside your EGR valve that routes exhaust back pressure to this port on the back pressure transducer valve, this guy. Okay, so exhaust pressure is being applied to this. So when there's more pressure in the exhaust, so when you hit the throttle, more pressure is going to be applied to this. It pushes up on a diaphragm that's inside of here and basically closes off the part inside where it just vents to the atmosphere so that all of the vacuum now has to be applied directly to the EGR valve, okay? So then all of the vacuum is applied to the EGR valve and the EGR valve will open to allow exhaust gas to enter the intake manifold, okay? So normally, no vacuum really makes it to the EGR, and when the engine is cold, no vacuum even comes to this at all because of the electrical EGR uh, solenoid. Once the engine is warm, vacuum is applied to this, and it's vented to the atmosphere. You hit the throttle. Exhaust back pressure pushes up on the diaphragm, closes the exit where the vacuum can just leak to the atmosphere, closes that so that all of the vacuum now goes to the EGR, the EGR opens and allows exhaust to go into the manifold. And that is how your back pressure transducer works on your Nissan. Okay, and uh, just to prove this, okay, to prove that back pressure routes all of the vacuum through here, uh, what you can do is blow on either one of these. You can blow on them. I would advise not to suck on it. Uh, for lack of a better term, just because you don't know what could be in there, you could breathe in some crap. So, uh, but blowing on it will prove still prove the uh, the point. Um, and I don't have a, a a pump or anything to apply pressure or vacuum to this thing. So what I'm going to do is actually going to blow into here and apply pressure to here to uh, basically mimic the exhaust back pressure, and also see that all of the vacuum is now going to go through here, okay? So I can do that. It 
So as you can see, no vacuum vents to the atmosphere uh, when that diaphragm is pushed up by the exhaust back pressure. So all the vacuum will then be a, go straight through here to the EGR valve and open it. Uh, and that's how your back pressure transducer works, folks. Thanks for watching.